Hey everyone, it's Javi here, and this is the fifth and last video of my beginner web development tutorial series with Next.js, where we're gonna learn how to take everything that we've worked on so far and deploy it using Vercel. In my last video, we learned how to statically generate pages with dynamic routes. If you are interested in learning Next.js from scratch, I highly recommend that you check out my previous videos, which I added to the description down below. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Javi and I make weekly videos about product design skills, principles, and practices to help you build digital products and bring your ideas to life. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit subscribe. So let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is set up a GitHub account if you don't have one already. GitHub is a development platform that allows you to publish and manage software. And as you can see here, I've already got my profile lined up. What we're gonna wanna do is take everything that we've worked on so far and publish it to GitHub as a repository, which is simply a container that is going to have all of our project files. So to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna jump over to VS Code. Here you can see I've got my project folder, which I renamed to Next.js blog YouTube. And that is because I already have a repo in my GitHub called Next.js blog. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up here in VS Code by just dragging it over to our doc icon. And as you can see, now we are in VS Code. Now, in order to get these files to a GitHub repo, there's a couple ways that you can do it. I personally have my VS Code connected to my GitHub account through setting sync, which you can find down here on the bottom left. And what this does essentially is it lets me manage changes and push them over to GitHub through the interface here in VS Code, uh, which is super handy. So what I can do once I've got that configured is you can see, let me actually brighten this up a little bit so I can see everything in place. You can see that we have a button here that says publish to GitHub. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, so we don't currently have a repository where these files are living. So we're gonna go ahead and create that. Now I want this to be a public repository. So I'm gonna click here on publish to GitHub public repository. And as you can see, it's creating a route inside my GitHub profile. So I'm gonna click on that right there. And then you can see it's undergoing the process. And there we go, successfully published to uh, my GitHub username and then followed by the route. If I were to open this on GitHub, we will actually, it will actually open up a new tab. And as you can see, it has the proper routing and here are all of the files that we have been working on. So that is in terms of getting our code over to GitHub. Now that we have our repo set up, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is take that and import it into Vercel, which is a deployment platform that is optimized for Next.js. It is built by the same people that built Next.js and on its own, it's an amazing deployment platform. And in a few seconds, I will show you the stuff that I really like about it. So in order to do that, we're gonna head over to Vercel.com. If you are new to Vercel, you probably are gonna have to create an account here, and then you're gonna wanna go to your settings and make sure that in login connections, you will have the GitHub connection activated because we're gonna be creating a new project inside Vercel through the GitHub connection. Now, you can see here, I've already got a project going on for my own blog. What we are gonna do in your case, if you don't have any projects set up, is taking what we have in GitHub and putting it into a new project. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on new project. And you can see here that if you've got your GitHub connected, you can simply select the repository that you want to import. There is also some handy clones here of templates that you can use to get started, which are really, really nice. But for this particular situation, we're gonna wanna click on import for Next.js blog YouTube, which is the repo that we're interested in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on import. We're gonna select our personal account. So let's do that. 
And these things you can just leave as they are. Uh, with the defaults, I'm gonna click on deploy. So as you can see, what we're doing is we are taking our repo, the main branch from my GitHub account, and we are gonna be deploying that as a project on Vercel. So this should just take a couple of minutes. And there we go. Now that we have finally completed our deployment, which just took a couple of seconds, you can see that our project has been successfully deployed. We can go ahead and visit our website, which as you can see is nicely loaded into this Vercel.app subdomain that Vercel facilitated for us, which we can share then with anybody that wants to check out our blog. Now we can go back here and just to show you what this looks like in the back end, I can open our dashboard. And as you can see, this has a publish light here. You can see the repo that it's connected to. And here you can see the deployment link that we were just looking at here. So you've got a couple of domains set up and it's pretty much ready to go. Now, let's say that we were actually going to do the polishing that I forgot to do, and we want to publish that change into the main branch and over to our Vercel website. Okay, so I wrapped up the polishes that I wanted to do on my website, and I ran my npm run dev command in order to get into my local host. And as you can see, this is what it currently looks like in local host. So we've got all the proper polishing and styling here, as well as the link component, which is taking me to the appropriate dynamic routes. And I have my date formatted, everything is looking pretty good. Now what we wanna do is take these changes we've just made and deploy them through Vercel into our website. Here's what we gotta do. So the first thing is getting them over to GitHub. So we have to push these changes into a branch. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back here to VS Code. And if you look here on the left side, there is an icon for source control. And it has a little number badge here with the number five on it. These are all the changes that we've made to any of the files in our repo since we last committed. So in order to get this over to GitHub, we have to commit these changes. And in order to do that, all you have to do is, in this case, we can write up a little message here that would be describing this, this commit. So I'm just gonna say, polishing updates and then press command enter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and it's gonna ask me if I would like to stage all my changes and commit them. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And now that we have our commits in place, instead of just pushing them over to our main branch, which is our production branch, we can go ahead and just to see what that looks like in production, this is gonna be a good practice for you is to actually create a new branch, which we're gonna call, let's say, new changes. For example, I'm gonna press enter. And now you can see that we are inside the new changes branch for, our, for the same repo that we just had before. And I'm gonna publish them to that branch instead of to the main one. And you're gonna see why in a second. So I'm gonna click on publish changes. And now if we head over to GitHub and have a look at what's going on there, you will see that we have a new branch here with our changes. And this is where we have this recent commit with everything that we just worked on regarding the polishing. And what's really nice is that if we now head over to Vercel, you will see that you have both your production deployment right here with the link that we looked at earlier. But if you scroll right below it, you have preview deployments that are essentially in stage environments and through stage deployment links that you can click into in order to see changes before those are made available in your website. And this is a really great practice because this allows you to have a view at a stage production environment where you can see how things look like and behave on the browser without actually making those changes yet to the link that other people may have to access your website. So it's a really great way to preview changes right before committing them over to the live version. And so as you can see, we have this version right here with our branch, and you can have a look at this working exactly like we had it in our local host. 
And now if we want to get these changes deployed into our production deployment, all we have to do is simply head over to Vercel. We are here in the stage deployment environment and I'm going to go ahead and click on promote to production. So this means that we are going to push the changes from one branch to our main branch. So let's go ahead and do that. Promote to production. All you have to do is click on this button right here. And now, as you can see, the build logs are initializing and I will just get back to you once this is in production. And there we go. This took literally less than a minute, 40 seconds. If I now were to go back to my project here in XJS blog YouTube and click on the production deployment domain, you will see that we have all of our latest changes that we imported through, first of all, VS Code into GitHub and then imported in deployment through Vercel. Another way to get your changes merged is by doing it directly through a GitHub pull request. And this may be at times even better because as you can see, what Vercel did is take the changes from the branch and leverage that branch as the new deployment. But that didn't actually make any changes to our production branch, our main branch that we have in GitHub. And if you want those to actually be promoted, if you want those changes to promote into the main branch, you can do so through GitHub by just doing a simple pull request. So we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, we want these new changes to be published into our main branch. And so it says here, able to merge, we can go ahead and create a pull request. And so let's go ahead and do that. And once we have this pull request open, we can go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on merge pull request, confirm merge. And now the new changes that were part of this previous branch are now merged into our main branch already. And now that we have this in place, we can simply delete the new changes branch. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. We simply have now one branch now, which is going to be our main branch in this repo. And that is what is going to be accessible when I click on the Vercel app domain here. That's pretty much it. One last thing that I wanted to mention in this video that many people don't know about is that you can actually purchase and manage domains through Vercel. And you can do so by coming here to the domains tab. And here you can see all the domains that you own through Vercel. And in my case, I've already purchased one for my own personal blog. If you wanna purchase a domain for your own website, you can click on buy. And once you have that set up, all you have to do is go to one of your projects. And in this case, I can just briefly show you my own personal blog. You can see that it's connected to a repo in my GitHub, just like we did with the previous project in this video. And in order to set up the domain, all you have to do is head over to your settings, go to domains, and you will see here that you can connect the domain that you just purchased with your deployed website and it will just be a matter of seconds until they are both integrated. And that is all for today. In this series, we went from zero to production with Next.js and I am so glad that we did it because this is the foundation of many things to come in my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this series. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more. And if you have anything that you would like to comment on, don't forget to drop it in the comment section down below. I hope you're well and stay safe and I will catch you in the next one.